Hi folks, Slick Slices here. Um, we've got a nice knife here from um, Viper, made in uh, Maniago in Italy. They're one of the uh, um, Maniago knife makers. Maniago, for those who don't know, is akin to what um, Sheffield might be to England, or Solingen might be to Germany. Maniago is to Italian knives. So, it's a little box. There's nothing really inside it, just a little bit of instructions, a bit of plastic. Um, the only significant part, if anybody is up for these things, this is the number, the V5986MO. MO stands, uh, stands for um, uh, sheep's, uh, ram's horn in, in uh, Italian. Anyway, this is what's in, what came inside the box. Uh, now, these knives, are, some come with a clip, some come with a slip. Uh, I'm not a big fan of clips, so I went for one of the ones that comes with a slip. Nice little leather slip. This actually goes on your belt. I had it on my belt. It, it, this does seem a little on the fragile side, but I had this on my belt for a couple of weeks, and, uh, you know, it seems to hold up perfectly well. Uh, my only, perhaps, criticism of it is that because it's relatively soft leather, it can uh, can be difficult to kind of find the slot, as it were, when you're trying to put it away, um, if it's out of your sight line. But it's a, still, it's a nice little leather slip, and certainly would make a good slip if you're putting it in your pocket. This is the knife itself. Um, it's called the Turn, which you can probably read on there. Um... Uh, by Viper, and then it also says in there, made in Maniago, Italy. And as I said, this is in ram's horn. It's not the best ram's horn in the world. Um, I prefer it where it's sort of clearer and you've got a sort of more like amber depth to it. But it's still, it's quite nice. I mean, there's some good figuring in it. It does move as you, you know, as you turn it in the light, you can see the figuring. Um, and same on both sides, uh, the, the side's probably the better of the two now obviously this is a modern sort of take on on a knife in that you've got the the visible screws um i'm not sure that it's an aesthetic that i'm particularly wild about but it's certainly practical and it works um this knife has titanium bolsters and integral frame so you can probably see there that behind the the ram's horn it's um the the frame is, is one piece uh, with the bolster there on both sides. You've obviously got a steel uh, back spacer and, and back spring. The jimping on this does have th almost the effect of uh, sort of like file work. It's done really quite nicely. And you've obviously, as, as you would always have with, or well, pretty much always have with Italian knives, everything is crowned um, on the, the back spring and the back spacer. Now... Uh, if you've any dexterity, you can flick this open. I inevitably can't, but it's because of my lack of dexterity rather than any problem with the knife. Um, I probably should have wiped it before I started, but nonetheless, as I say, I've been carrying it for the last couple of weeks. Um, it has ball bearing um, pivots in there, so it, it is the action of it is. Um, you know, for a, uh, a lock back knife, oops, sorry, I can't press the button, is really, you know, it's really very, very light, very smooth action. Um, it's made of M390 steel, and on this side, you can see the little, the, the no, it's not a maker's mark, it's a designer's mark. Okay, yeah. You can see that there. The designer is a guy called Fabrizio Silvestrelli. Now, I don't really know anything about him, but um, Viper and many of the Italian makers uh, tend to use uh, outside makers. So I imagine that there is a, this is a, a sort of a, a production version of a um, designer um, knife that's out there somewhere. Uh, it's opened with thumb studs, and as I say, it's got a lovely smooth action. The I've got a few 
lockbacks, lockback knives. I quite like lockback knives. I've got a couple of Italian ones from uh, Mazarin. That one. And that one. These are slightly smaller as well. S slightly larger knife. We'll come to that in a minute. Um, and, you know, I've got even quite a... I mean, this this one from Falcon even is, is really a very high-end knife. But even this, this doesn't have the, the ball bearing action. So when you come to close it, even if I can press the button in properly, it doesn't really drop shut. You have to kind of give it a little bit of a push. Um, I've kind of set my, I set my dragonfly and you can do, you, you know, you can fiddle around with the, the pivots on these things. Again, there's no ball bearings in this, but I've set that so that it does you know, drop shut a little bit so that you can close it uh, one-handed. The perhaps the the best sort of comparable knife. The um, and this is another of these that's designed by somebody and made by somebody else. So this is the QSP Worker. It's designed by um, German knife enthusiast Arthur Brem. He's designed a few a few knives now, I think. But he, again, though this isn't really a mid-lock, this is a proper traditional lock back, um, when you press that button down, it drops, drops shut. Um, you have to be a little careful with these, of course. If you let that, if you, if, you, if you press that and you're holding the knife sort of up like this, it can drop past the, the sort of halfway point and then when it gets to a point eventually it springs closed and it will shut on your fingers and this knife here is was very very sharp um in fact i cut myself with it just after it was new and then i bought one for my son-in-law who opened it on christmas day and immediately slit his thumb open with it this again came pretty sharp um i say it's m390 and again it has that sort of action where you just have to be a little bit careful when you come to to shut it that you don't let that fall past the the 90 and um, close on your finger now in terms of the ergonomics i think it's more aesthetics over ergonomics i mean you've got a really good looking blade here it's got this lovely huge big swedge on the top of it really deep um, blade full flat grind um very very sharp and cutty um, so it's got the sort of jimping on the back for your thumb which is you know it's all very well but i think the the shape of the handle here is more about aesthetics than it is about ergonomics now unlike perhaps the worker you know this is perhaps designed to be used uh, you know, almost all day, every day. And uh, as a result, it's got a nice smooth uh, handle, which just sort of fits nicely in the hand and won't, won't do you any, any problems. I think that the turn is really made more for, you know, carrying, uh, cutting something, putting it away again, cutting a wee piece of string or a bit of fruit or cheese or whatever, and putting it away again, rather than being used all day. Because I think those um, the shaping on the handle would cause all sorts of problems um, in the long run. Now, as I say, this is this is quite a big knife. I mean, if you compared that to, um, well, what have we got? This sort of around about maximum UK size. Well, this obviously isn't UK. No, no none of these knives are UK legal because they're all lockbacks. Um, but this is this Mazarin is perhaps more like what you might expect for a UK legal size knife um, and you'll find that the turn is just marginally longer but it's just it's quite a bit bigger and heftier in terms of actual blade length we are talking about a cutting edge of three and a quarter um, or three and an eighth, three and a quarter, three and uh, five sixteenths full blade length, overall length of about seven and a half inches, which I think is I think is more comparable 
You'd think I would have checked this beforehand, but I didn't. I think it's more comparable to the QSP Worker. Uh, QSP Worker is about um, three sixteenths longer, but again, you have sort of three and a quarter inch cutting edge, three and a half inch blade length. So it's more in that sort of uh, vein, but uh, it's not it's not UK legal to carry anyway. So it's it's largely irrelevant that it's over the three inch size. Um, but a, a good size knife, if you can carry it, and uh, it, you know it does work. That 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 is a good cutter. It's a very slicey blade. The the angle of the of the handle to the to the cutting blade is also really good. So if you're cutting on a surface, um, you can get that blade right down. Do the do some cutting and keep some of your hand sort of slightly out of the way. You know you can cut really quite a, a high angle. And still get plenty of belly on the the ground or right up high to get that point in so you know it's a, it's a good knife i've enjoyed using it and i have used it a lot and um as is always my thing the ambidextrous nature of a knife that has no clip and a back lock is fantastic because i can i can use this in either hand um it's easy to open quickly with the thumb stud opening there's no you're not risking um, breaking breaking nails, and as I say, if you if you've got any dexterity at all, you can probably flick it open. And then when you come to close it, it's dead easy to close and put away in your pocket. Um, we will see in the next knife I'm going to show in the next video. It's actually another Viper, which is a slip joint, and you probably see the the difference in opening between one and the other. Um, they're both they're both nice knives. The other one is is street legal, so I I have to carry it. But if I could carry, if I had a choice, this would be the one I would carry, and not the one that I said we're going to see in the next video, which is going to be the Viper Hug, which again I really like, but it just doesn't have that convenience of of use. So anyway, I think that's probably all I have to say about this particular knife. Um, it was recommended to me by. Um, Warthog over in America um, who many of you will follow if you don't make sure you do because he's um, he's got a most amazing collection of knives I, I, it makes me jealous every every time I every time I look at his channel but there we are so if you like the stuff please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see the hug and, and some other bits and pieces coming along um, I keep promising a series on fixed blades and I will be starting that shortly I just haven't had time to get through everything else that I've got to get through. But we'll get there. So thank you very much. If you want to see that, remember to subscribe and ring the bell. Thank you very much. Bye.